I mean, is there nothing I can let my children hear? Even though the show is pro-police and pro-FBI, I let my kids listen to it because at least the FBI agents in it sound moral and act moral. Not anymore. It's just everything is corrupted by this evil. And that's not the only time I've heard this lately. So it's about to be no more Adventures in Odyssey for my children. Because now I can't trust it. Now, I, if they're going to listen to an hour of it while we're driving somewhere, I'm going to have to listen to it. Because, you know, they'll, they'll be in the back with it on a little uh, iPad or something listening to it with headphones. Not anymore. I'm going to have to listen to every stinking thing they're allowed to listen to. And it's outrageous. So that's the type of propaganda we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. Continuing, Connecticut State Police, no door-to-door -door gun confiscations. Don't trust Google to protect email from the NSA. Kurt Nemo, article breaks that down, yeah, because they are the NSA. Protester crashes live BBC protest to warn of pedophile rings at the BBC. We're going to be playing that. Expert warns the next Carrington event will plunge the U.S. back into the dark ages. That's a solar flare, folks. Did the U.S. deploy snipers against peaceful Occupy protesters? The answer is yes. That is just some of the news up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And I'm going to get to attacks on free speech after we take phone calls. And then attacks on Rand Paul. Al Sharpton thinks his speech at Berkeley was racist. Because it said everybody should come together around freedom. That scares the race hustling pimps really bad. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to... Rob in Massachusetts, you're on the air. Welcome. How's it going, Alex? Pretty good, brother. Yeah, man. So, like, I've called, uh, I haven't called for years. I'm going to tell you, I've been listening for many, many years. But uh, last time, I think I was talking to you with Eustace Mullins, uh, the Curse of Canaan writer. And, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of research into epigraphy, ep you know, archaeology, and interpreting ancient inscriptions. Well... I go all the way back to Genesis, and I'm stuck there for one main reason that's going to be of interest to you and your listeners, and that's the New World Order. It's actually mentioned in the Bible. Um, I have a copy of the Jerusalem Bible, and that originally came out in 1966 uh, with some new slants of, of English language for readers. Um, it actually is Genesis chapter 9, and the heading is the New World Order. So if your readers can go to that, or if you can go to that, it wouldn't take long to uh, to research just getting a copy of that Bible. It's not the you know not the Gideon Bible, not the King James. I understand. Version, we've got limited time here, sir, to discuss different Bible versions. Uh, I, I don't. What's the providence of the Jerusalem Bible and that interpretation? I mean, you read the Bible; it's all about corrupt empires rising and and countries going into bondage. I mean, it just it just absolutely is valuable info to decipher what's happening today. See it in print in bold letters, as a heading of Chapter 9 of Genesis, it's called the New World Order. I mean, that is the heading. Is that so translated that's, out of the Greek? It, it is. It is. It's tra well, not that. Actually, the Old Testament was in Hebrew. But, see, the Hebrew scholars... Oh, but the Hebrew got translated into Greek. Yeah, and they... But the, the Hebrew scribes, they translated everything from the original Sumerian and Babylonian. No, I understand. I just said you can find a Bible translation. It'll basically tell you anything you want. There's so many different versions of it. That's why I don't get into the whole deal. I uh, understand that. Um, I dis I disagree with you about something you said, um, you know, recently about Superman, um, the, the new movie that just recently came out, The Man of Steel. Um, I didn't think it was a good influence on kids, and that was because it showed Superman uh, stealing and killing, and that was, those are two. Well, Superman that. broke the drone, and he was against eugenics and against centralized government and against rewriting the genetic code of the Earth and killing everybody, and he didn't trust the federal government. I mean, I mean, the new uh, Captain America is about that, about a rogue group staging terror attacks. I mean, I thought compared to most of the propaganda you see, I thought it had a really good message. It had that message, but um, looking back on it, I don't get a good feeling of the memories of it. it sure, sure. So well, I mean, well, who did he kill? Right. He only killed right. Zod because he was about to kill a bunch of innocent people. Which he'd never done before in the comics or any, any other. And he also stole and justifies the means, right? He stole some clothes at the beginning. When he came out of the water, Superman has, has, has been against stealing. I mean, come on. So, that, so those. Well, I think much. I think we should then send him back to Krypton. We should I think we should? God bless you. I appreciate your call, sir. It doesn't mean I endorse everything in the movie. I was just saying I'm seeing the movie Up. I thought had a wholesome.
message. I mean, I just we've got to say what's wholesome in the system versus what's bad. We can't just say it's all bad. We have to say what we see is good so the good gets promoted. Like, I want to be able to say Adventures in Odyssey is good. It's not. I think Obama runs it. We are not here to scare you or fill your mind with images of terror. There's enough of that already. We are survivalbagsinc.com, a veteran-owned company. We specialize in survival supplies, bags, and packs. In most cases, our survival bags, loaded with emergency food, water, and supplies, ship out in 24 hours or less, and prices start as low as 60 bucks. Go to survivalbagsinc.com, and thank you for supporting a veteran-owned American business. Survivalbagsinc.com. Our mission is to help you survive. The response has been overwhelming, and for that, we say thank you. Hi, I'm Daniel, one of the founders of New Mana Food Storage. You've let us know how much you love our GMO-free and great-tasting storable food. Now, you can help a veteran enjoy that same great taste. Part of every purchase from New Mana will be donated to help a veteran in need enjoy their next meal. Buy with confidence. Buy the best. Buy New Mana. Call 877-817-9829 or visit PowerPrepper.com. New Mana, food storage you'll love to eat. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. It's Friday, the 21st day of March, 2014. The USS Infowars is cruising in enemy territory. We've been destroying some of their biggest lies and propaganda. We're continuing to seek out enemy vessels and attack them. I appreciate all of you joining us. We're going back to your phone calls here. When I take totally open phones, some of them are incredible, some of them are weird. We went from the Bible and the Jerusalem translation to Superman. But it was an interesting call. 
We've gone from the police are allowed to be with hookers in Hawaii, but no one else is. I think government should be above the law. I think that's great that big banks are allowed to bring in the drugs, own the aircraft it's shipped in and have police, uh, military guard it when the drugs are brought off. And then if you get caught with them, you go to jail. I think that's totally reasonable, too. I think it's great Obama's above the law uh, uh, as well. I'm being sarcastic. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to all the calls if I don't go quick. So each caller, one minute. Terry. And then we're going to go to Scott. And then we're going to go to Michael. Then we're going to go to Brian. We're going to go to Pax. Terry, you're on the air. Go ahead. How you doing, Alex? All right, brother. You're doing a great job there, man. Um, I went had to go into Connecticut for a job interview uh, Wednesday. And when I came out to get the car, the guy was in the parking lot at the machine getting his parking ticket. And I told him, I pointed to the license plate, and I said, hey, you guys are going to have to take Constitution off your license plate. And he just looked at me with six heads. <laughs> so I could tell you. Oh, no yeah. Idea. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Constitution state or whatever, I mean, that's illegal to, to have a dirty word like that. I mean, they're demonizing that in federal and state court, saying they don't want to hear the word Constitution. Uh, and so all these states that talk about liberty and Constitution, they've got to get those dirty words down. It might be a good idea for you to make up a Connecticut license plate with the communist state on it to flash on, on the program. <laughs> I think that would be more more accurate, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, just one more thing. is uh, I uh, used to go through commute to New York City, and you wouldn't believe how many um, FEMA train cars that I see in the rail yards there. And nobody has a clue what they are. There's they a massive hundred multi-billion dollar. It's, it's, I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds of billions. No one knows. Massive shadow government buildup. And then the manuals for the grunt troops are veterans, gun owners. George Washington's not good. I mean, this is in the news. So there's a giant secret army being trained for war with us. And even Forbes reports the war against the Tea Party. How the Pentagon's training to fight its new enemy. It's not the Russians. It's not the Chinese. It's not Al-Qaeda. It's John Wayne, folks, literally. I've, I've never believed, I'm 62 years old, I never believed I'd see the country turn into what it's turned into today. Well, I mean, look, there's a lot of great young people that are awake, but there's also a lot of them that literally believe Obamacare is good, they believe turning their guns in are good, they don't know where their state capital is. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. People see the spelling bee numbers, they see the, you know, the national studies where people don't know that the Earth orbits the sun. A lot of people that grew up on television are so stupid, the power structure knows that. So they're making their moves, saying your kids don't belong to you. World government's good. Uh, you know, being poor is good. Uh, government is above the law. And the yuppies go, government is above the law. I mean, that's what they're into. God bless you, brother. Uh, but at least the police up in Connecticut are claiming they're not going to have a mass gun confiscation. They're just going to target gun owners one by one and have their way with them. So they're not ready for a full-out offensive yet, but they will. Don't worry. Scott in uh, New York, thanks for holding. You're on the air. Hey, Oz, can you hear me? Yes, sir, brother. All right. Hey, great. Hey, you know, I was on your show a few years ago uh, when I protested at Ground Zero and I got arrested by the, uh, the, the NYPD and they put me in jail for a day. I've been arrested uh, by them for demonstrating as well. It's quite fun, uh, the things they did to me in jail. Oh, I, I enjoyed it myself. I, I especially enjoy the part where we won a case against them in federal court and sued them for fifteen thousand dollars and and made them pay for their uh, their crimes. You know, I know a lot of people, including our office, that has won big settlements with police departments. They don't care; it's just citizen money. They just roll right old ladies more tickets, and we we don't want the money. We just want them to stop marching up to you when you're over the camera on a sidewalk screaming, "Turn your camera off!" And then even if you do what they say, they take you to jail and then beat you up. Uh, or do other things to you, and it's all funny to them, destroying their own children's future. That's their First Amendment, too. Why would the New York PD want to trample on their own freedom? Well, I suppose that's true, you know, the part about them, you know, using taxpayer money to pay the fines. You know, I never really thought about it that way. I always, you know, I thought that we were, like, you know, doing a good thing by making them pay for what oh, they Oh, no, did. no, you have to sue them when it's, in fact, I should sue the sheriff's department. I said I would. I'm just so busy. Clearly, we were authorized to be there by the Dallas police. The feds had federalized them. They sent them over to rough us up. And when I saw them push this little girl over, that's when I said, all right. Get you. I started taking my jail. I said, let's beat their ass. And then they backed off. I mean, it's all on tape. I mean, I just couldn't. I said, that's it. I can't let them beat up a six-year-old girl.
And then they backed off. They look pretty mean, too, those thugs they hired. We'll be right back. We're on the march.